shops, but no one ever seems to want to listen. Hello, wonderful mother truckers that you are, and welcome to another video. So, if you ever wondered why a lot of people worry about Islam and want to push back against it because of the religion that it is, just found another one of these little wonderful uh, articles. Uh, we can listen to the wise words of this gentleman, and then uh, we'll, we'll add our bit. So let's just sit back and enjoy. This is a part of our religion. There's a reason to it, yeah? There's a reason why there's a capital punishment, because people like you, little weaklings, who leave their religion and cause uh, corruption in the land by spreading it, the capital punishment in Islamic law would be applied to you. We have no doubt, and we're proud of that. Yes, we're proud that we'll fucking kill you if you don't do as you're told. Yay! Celebrate! Be proud! Yeah? Capital punish will be applied in an Islamic state. Which we'll get in 10 years if you idiots don't wake up and pay attention! Just saying. Yeah? Not individuals going and doing it themselves like uh, idiots. I mean, we do have a police force for that. I mean, I know we all know that they're, you're in, they're in your pocket now, but... <sighs> You wonder why we worry? Yeah, no, under an emir, it is done, yes. And we, you know what, we'll be watching. We'll be watching. Because if you're going to cause corruption in the land, that's going to cause more uh, damage to the society as a whole. Because the Sharia didn't come to protect an individual's right. Hey, can I drink alcohol? Yeah, sure. Drink alcohol, uh, run someone over, kill them, set the, uh, uh, all this kind of... So capital punishment for drink driving. I mean, drink driving is bad. But I mean, we wouldn't be allowed to drink if these... Fucking idiots Chaos. in charge. No, Islam says the right of the community is greater than you individual wanting your right to freedom, which is BS. There you go. Right to freedom is BS. Just, you know, putting it out there. Absolutely BS, yeah? Don't get me started. So it just backfired on you. So there you go. That's the mindset of the people who are slowly but steadily taking over. This is why Islamophobia, the word, was made up. To prevent criticism of that. Now, if you genuinely think that that is acceptable, that you're not allowed to have your freedom of expression under Sharia law, under Islamic law, if you're not allowed to raise questions about those people who partake of Alan snack bar, that you will get capital punishment and will be proud of doing it. And, in his words, we are watching. If you find that acceptable, then there's no hope for this society, is there? See what I mean? When I was talking about, I said on the live stream about their community, the one thing you can't, you know, take away from Alan Snack Bar is its community. Something we don't have. We don't have community because when people like me say something, it's an opportunity to attack. <coughs> not to listen, not to pay attention to what's being said. This is the religion that is th fundamentally threatening your way of life. And a lot of you don't seem to give a shit. I'll just keep bringing it so you can keep listening to it. And maybe you'll listen. Or maybe you'll get me banned. Probably one or the other. Or probably both. The simple truth of the matter is, I'm only here to show you what you're up against. Any case, if you enjoyed this, like, share. Share is important. Get it out to as many people as possible so everybody can understand the message. If you want to see some more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe. And with that one, I'm done. And uh, yeah, to the next one. Another time, another place, another slice of life.